Alright guys, so this is something exciting and also another reason why I'm doing this is because I'm getting rid of junk vacuums and I'm going to be getting rid of some. So this right here is what act will actually matter in my collection. Um, pretty much what we got here is a new in box. Auric XL Classic. This is the Auric that I've been wanting for for a while. I'm not a big Auric fan, really. Um, seeing as the brush rolls are pretty soft and you'd think it wouldn't do a good job on carpet, but my opinion's about to change. I've, I've only had some junkers in my life and I haven't had an actual good one. So when I saw this on eBay, um, I was like, oh crap, well, this will be something good to kind of complete my collection for a while until I get more space, but I'm trying not to have a lot of vacuums, pretty much, because vacuums aren't everything, you know, and I have to save some space for some cars and stuff, because I am a car enthusiast, um, but that's besides the point. The point is, is we're going to be unboxing this thing today, and I am pretty excited. Um... It's even transit tested, and it's double taped up, so right here we have an Auric XL um, Classic. I'm going to try to not get my information on here, uh, pretty much, but uh, right here, I'm sure that's not anything important, but this right here is the Auric I've been wanting with this style of handle. Um, I've always liked the ones with just the traditional vacuum cleaner style handle. Uh, looks a lot better on them until they went to the helping hand grip sort of thing that they came up with. And also, this is going to be a video in tribute to David Oryx since he has unfortunately passed away. He lived a good long life and he marketed these vacuums really well. And Needless to say, he was a guy that got by in life, and I think that's inspiring for anybody that can get by through life doing whatever, you know, because we all, we all want to live, you know, in high luxury. We all want to have a lot of money, you know, and so as long as you're good at something, you know, no matter how, how much of a niche thing it may be, you can still get by, pretty much. Um, so I just, I just think that's really cool. So this weighs only eight pounds. Powerful top fill works really. I know it's gonna need a new belt. Hopefully, it comes with spare bag and everything. But and I don't know if anything's gonna be broken in here. It says transit tested, and that's from the factory. So hopefully, it wasn't manhandled or anything, or anything's broken. I think these are pretty durable vacuums. So um, anyway, we're just gonna get straight into the video here. Uh, I need to find a place to really set the camera down here so let me see if I can try that I'm figuring out a million different ways to do this at once here so we just got to get straight into it so anyway it says not to cut with a sharp instrument but of course that's impossible and it leaves me no other choice so we're gonna be very gentle and I don't know if this is really what's in here, or if there's something different. I'd hope not. That would be false advertising, and I'd be pretty pissed. I think anybody would be pretty pissed. So hopefully this is what's advertised here. And hopefully it's not broken. So. Alright. Is that it? Sure is it. Oh, shit. I think I just may have got the rarest model right here. This is on. Has the American flag on it. That's cool, actually. That's, that's really cool. Wow. That's really cool, actually. I'm not even going to lie. Alright. Yeah. This is badass. Right here. So this is... American style one is dark blue. I expected this one to be uh, the white one, actually. Out of the way here. Well, here. It's a classic. 
as I said, I'm this is probably just gonna be what I use mainly. I'm gonna be using some of my other vacuums too. But as I said, we're nearing the end here for a while, so I might go for a while, um, pretty much. But I'll be back, and it probably gives me um, enough time to really keep up on or go over and review some of the other vacuums I have in my collection you guys probably haven't seen yet. But um, anyway, this is what we got right here. I think this is pretty cool. It says to remove that, I have to go get my screwdriver. So, all right, so it says to remove the insert here. Uh, it's hard to do this with one hand, but we're winging it here. So, it's pretty much what we're doing right now. So, that's cool. I did not expect it to be this version. Okay, we remove the insert here, and then we just put on the handle, and I guess that's it. Um, I know the belt's going to be junk already. I know that the belt is definitely going to be junk. Um, that is the right way, right? I guess it just kind of slides on, but I don't want to break anything. It's new. Um, okay, that's there. We can put this back on. I think it was the long one was the bottom one and the small one was the top one. So. Alright, so that appears to be in. You know what? We'll try it, I guess, with the belt that it has. Um, just to see. But, as I said, this is really rare. Something you don't come across very often. And so, as a collector, when you see these kinds of things, you just kind of have to jump on them. It has a CC docking system, I believe. Um, so, I'll actually take a look at the underside of it. Just like I thought, spare belt here. And this belt is actually still good. And the belt still feels pretty good on this, actually. I hear that from performance reviews, shouts out to him, he uh, said to take off the belt and put it in the rear pouch right here because over time when you use it they get dry rotted and especially with all the dust and debris that'll kind of act like kitty litter does to oil and all it kind of just suck the life out of it. Work XL, simply amazing. I like that slogan they had back then. It's just pretty wholesome. Which is stuck. I'm pretty sure that's a product of it sitting. Okay, now, now it just moves as soon as I speak about it, so. All right, so I kind of, I ain't gonna lie, I took it off camera and I used it for a bit. Um, the original belt, it, it kind of had some substance to it, but not really, so we put the new one on, um, and it, here it is. And you may have noticed on camera the thing sticking out the side of the bag. I never really paid attention to it, but um, this is an air freshener, actually. It comes with the original air freshener, so I thought that's pretty cool. Um, it's even effective in automobile interiors, so I don't know if you could still get these, but I'm keeping that. I'm probably not going to open it, and uh, to be honest, you can already kind of smell it. And it. I mean, it has like a unique, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> this is going to sound funny. It kind of smells like a doctor's office. Um... So anyway, <laughs> and yeah, um, I didn't expect it to be this this version. I thought it was just going to be the regular white version, but I love the navy blue with the uh, American flag in the background, coupled with the uh, handle. Um, I think that's pretty awesome. So and this is the uh, this is this work I was looking for forever. I went to a pawn shop one time, and uh, they had one of these. And it was the white version, and I asked them if it was for sale, and I'm like, oh no, this is the one we use for the shop, and I was like, damn it. So, I never found one locally, but this one's new in box, and I figured this would be the ultimate one to have. Um, this this uh, configure, configuration was completely unexpected, but anyway, we'll um, get straight into running the machine, so we'll undo the cord here. 
All right, well, we have it plugged in, and let's just get straight into it. This is a new in-box Auric Classic XL, and yeah, we're just going to get straight into this video here. <laughs> gotta stop this video here because I'm running out of storage but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I may be gone for a while because as I said I kind of am ending collecting here for a bit gotta save up the money but yeah uh, stay tuned for more I'm probably just gonna be going over vacuums you've seen already seen haven't